So, so boats of water don't mix? Hey, it's Captain Brian, and uh, boat's in the water, uh, but uh, water inside the boat, not so good, right? Yeah, water causes a lot of problems. Like, you know, if you ever walk into a boat, into a cabin, and it smells really musty, smells really bad, that's probably because of water, right? Water sitting in the bilge, creating mildew, uh, you know, up on the sides of the bilge, or even like on the cabin walls and on the ceiling, you know, you see, you know, gray marks, and, uh, you know, it just smells nasty, and uh, you want to avoid that, right? You want to keep the, the, the Water, the air dry, the bilge is dry inside the boat, I mean, really at all times. And so, you know, you want to try to keep the water outside the boat. Um, during the season, uh, you know, check for leaks. There's all this hardware on the deck where water can sneak through, hatches and so forth. You want to make sure all that stuff's uh, tight. If, if something's leaking, you got to, you know, take the screws out and caulk them and put them back in, uh, clean the seals around the, 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 the hatches, make sure that the dirt's not allowing water to get in. And uh, if you have an air conditioner, run it during the season. It keeps the humidity out of the boat, uh, stops mildew from forming. And if you don't have AC, you can use uh, you know dry buckets like this that absorb the moisture out of the air and, and you know, it fill, fills up the bottom. Um, also, during the winter, we'll place these around the cabin to absorb any moisture that forms while the air conditioner is not running during the winter. So under the bilges, uh, you know, under the hatches in the floor in the, in the cabin, uh, the, make sure the bilges stay dry. Um, some sources of water there, it might be coming from, again, leaks on, on the deck hardware, sneaking through behind the walls and getting into the, the, the floor. Also, the uh, air conditioners have drip pans for the condensation that forms, and that runs down into uh, sump boxes under the floor. If those uh, uh, tubes are clogged and the drip, drip pans are overflowing, that water will end up in the bilge and, and get musty, right? So you're gonna you know, periodically check, make sure the bilges are dry, and if not, find out where it's coming from. The AC's being the number one culprit, but you might also have uh, a plumbing leak or something that you need to just check check the hoses you know for all the sinks and the showers and everything make sure there's no leaks there out here in the cockpit when it rains if there's any leaks uh, you know around the canvas you can come in and get the carpets wet so that you know causes the carpets to, to get uh, you know musty or or deteriorate or whatever or leave these marks here or leave these marks yeah, yeah. so I mean you know anything you can do to keep the boat dry uh, when you're not using it is uh, is important and plus it can get all over the seats you know if you put like a cockpit cover over uh, ever, when everything's damp in here or water seeps seeping in you know it's gonna get the, the seats all mildewy right which you know can be clean but it's you know something you want to avoid and uh, you know if you do have a, a like a cockpit cover or a, cam a camper canvas use waterproofing on the canvas to keep the, the water from you know seeping through you want it to roll off and, and stay dry in here and then uh, in the winter time you want to get all that water out of the boat right from all the sinks and showers you want to uh, we put pink antifreeze in our water tank and then run that through to out of every spigot every shower head and just to make sure that there's nothing that can freeze in those lines and, and burst those lines during the winter time which would lead to leaks and the, the you know and uh, failures the next spring right so uh, those are the things make sure there's no water uh, on the boat you know during the season and over the winter so that you don't get musty smells uh, freezing problems and all those things. We got to take all our club soda and all our water bottles off the boat for the winter. And the whiskey too. The whiskey too. Yep. And the wine. Mm -hmm. All the liquids. And, and you know, uh, sun sunscreen and and you know uh, hand soap and all those things. 
anything that might freeze and cause a mess. Uh, you know, yeah. get, get all those things off the boat. Okay, so, and then the other thing we're going to do is we got these, we got these dehumidifiers. We're, we always put these in the boat, and we got these small ones from Better Boat that we're going to try out this year and put into the heads. Um, yeah, I usually use big, big ones for the main cab and, you know, sit one on the galley uh, just to, you know, absorb the moisture in the larger room. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then throw those out in the spring. When you cover the boat for the winter, you know, we like to shrink wrap it. That's the best way to keep it dry, keep the, the snow and the ice off of it. Um, and they hang dehumidifier bags uh, inside the shrink wrap too to help keep it dry inside here. Yeah. Yep, so that's all the things we try to do to keep the boat dry uh, during the season and during the winter. Uh, and that, you know, minimizes, you know, our, our uh, cabin doesn't smell bad and, uh, you know, the, the seats and the carpet stay in pretty decent shape as a result. Hope you like this video and subscribe for more from My Boat Life.